Come, let's take a subway to the Rebbe's property. Didn't you just leave the Rebbe's property? That's a good question. Let me tell you a story. Please stand clear of the edge of the platform. Fasten your seatbelt. The next stop is Hebron. Whew, that was fast. From Kingston Station to Hebron Station. The story of Chabad in Hebron began about 200 years ago. The Mitzel Rebbe, Rebdoif Ber, encouraged his Hasidim to go to Eretz Yisrael. He wrote about the importance of buying land in the holy city of Hebron and even commissioned the building of a Chabad synagogue here. Later, the community expanded significantly when the Tzemach Tzedek sent his own family members to Hebron, headed by the Mitzel Rebbe's daughter, Rebbe Tzim Menucha Rachel Slonin, the granddaughter of the Alter Rebbe. This house is called Bet Romano. In 1876, Chaim Yisrael Romano, a rich grain merchant from Istanbul, built a large house on a piece of land he purchased outside the Jewish quarter. In this house lived the chief rabbi of Hebron, the tzaddik Chaim Chizkiyah Medini, and established a yeshiva here. After the death of the house's builder, Chaim Yisrael Romano, his sons put the house up for sale, and local Arabs offered a large sum. Reb Chaim Chizki Medini tried to keep the house, but was unable to obtain the sum. Then Rabbi Shimon Hoisman, a resident of Hebron, wrote a letter to the Rebbe Rashab, Reb Shalim Doif Ber, pleading with him for help. The Rebbe became personally invested in the project and managed to save Beth Romano. In 1911, after the purchase, the Rebbe founded the Torah's Emes Yeshiva. The Ottoman Turks confiscated the house and its connected property and evicted the Chabad Yeshiva. In its place, they set up a police station, which was later taken over by the British. In 1929, the Rebbe Rayatz, Rebbe Yitzchak Schneerson, visited Hebron and viewed with deep pain the confiscated Chabad property, but was not allowed to enter. Just three weeks later, an Arab mob set out to commit a horrific massacre against the Jewish men, women, and children of Hebron. In Beit Romano, the wounded and the murdered were gathered. From here, the dead were brought to burial, and the Jewish survivors were deported from Hebron. In 1948, the Jordanians occupied Beit Romano and used it as an Arab school. <laughs> The miracle of the 1967 Six-Day War, Yerushalayim and Hebron were liberated. The effort to rebuild Hebron's Jewish community began, and Hebron's sister city, Kiryat Arba, was established. But the redemption of Bet Romano was not yet accomplished. Bet Romano was finally reclaimed in 1982 and Yeshivat Shavei Hevron was established, but the majority of the property was not yet in our hands. The struggle to reclaim the rest was difficult and lasted years. But with Hashem's help, now we are building big time! And here we are, standing in the Chizkiya Quarter Chabad property with a unique opportunity to be part of history. A property fought for by the Stei Chemed, the Rebbe Rashab, by the Rebbe Rayatz, and the Rebbe. Right now, friends, this is a work site, as you can see. But soon, very soon, it will be 31 spacious high standard apartments with kindergartens, playgrounds, workspaces, and community facilities with two levels of underground parking, and all in walking distance from the Ma'aras HaMachpela. This is an incredibly rare opportunity to build Eretz Yisrael, to rebuild Hebron, and to walk in the footsteps of the Avois, the Imois, the great Chabad Rebbes.
Ron Shelley. 